What's going on y'all? It's your girl Ebony and I'm back with another video, another message, another level of understanding, another word from the Most High God. Y'all, before I get to talking, I just want to usher the Holy Spirit into this place, into my dwelling space, into this word, into this understanding so that he can cross every T and dot every I so that I don't miss a thing. I'll be trying to make sure I get these videos in even when I'm at work. So bear with me, but this one is going to be applying pressure. Stay tuned. So I'm on my spiritual walk. I'm on my journey with God and I'm discovering me. I'm learning me. I'm growing with me. And this is the new me that God has birthed into fruition. And so I take time with myself these days. And one thing I have been saying over and over again is like, if I ever enter a relationship, I want the, I want my kingdom spouse to um, see, I'm going to say when I enter a relationship, faith talk. So I want my spouse to see into me, like see into me. I should have to tell you every single thing about me in detail. It want, I want it to be like one of those languages where I speak and you already know what I'm going to say before I say it. Or yeah, like just, you know, I'm one of those hopeless romantic, but now more spiritual than anything. Like speak my God language. You know what I'm going to say, right? So not to dwell on that too long. As I'm just being me, I'm moody. I'm like... I'm just learning and, you know, grooving with the new me, right? But the old me still resides in me is what I noticed over time. And God highlighted something to me that just made me laugh. Like, he, he revealed to me a habit that I did to protect myself, right? So there is this habit I created by me growing up um, in an abuse system that I would basically weigh my outcome as far as like if nothing good happened i'll tell myself all the bad that can happen first so if that don't happen then i'm gonna be happy that it didn't happen so now i can be happy without like getting myself happy and then let down and he showed me the system that i'm still using that's in my psyche you know like still just with every habit or process that's going on in my life and expecting god to do a thing or to move in my life and I want to ask you guys like ask yourself what traumatized you make a list write it down be real with yourself be real with God because when I made my list it was like a long list and then I shortened it up basically I put it in I'm like let me see if I can put it into one category of the things that traumatized me and I was able to do that and by me doing that it shortened everything that I normally going to doubt about or carry on in my mind about or have fear on or moving forward on and my I'm gonna be transparent was human relations right and there's this scripture that God highlighted to me and it says let God be found true and let every man be found a liar and let your words be justified and prevailed when you are judged. And so when it all boiled down to it, it seemed like the habit that I was creating for myself, I was moving in that way to protect me from mankind when anyways God had already seen me victorious during my trials and my tribulations of when I was going through the abuse and certain things in that genre. And so when I was able to shorten that category, I learned that the same habit that I was creating to protect myself, I'm now using when I'm hearing God. I'm now using when God's trying to bless me. I'm now using when it's my time to shine. I'm now using to hold over my head. So you really want to write down what traumatized you because when you're traumatized, you'll move in a way that is damaged of your psyche and things that wasn't caused by God's hand. You may have went out of the will of God. You may have also even did just had things, gone through three things, gone through things that had nothing to do with you. And it was just all for the greater good to find out who you were in life. And so for me, God had to shine areas where he seen into me. <laughs> to me, that was so freaking special. Let me tell y'all why that's so special. Because I have been saying for months inwardly, like, 
I get into my new, you know, when I move forward in my life, my person, they gonna have to see into me on certain details. Like I need them to basically read my mind. You understand? Like I'm gonna talk and say certain things when I need to say it, but had that connection, that kingdom spouse connection, and God was showing me like, baby, I'm your connection. Like I got you, I see into you, but you're doing a thing right now. And that thing you're doing, I'm gonna need you to stop that thing. Like he's so gentle and kind and he makes me want to be a better me. You know what I'm saying? Like it makes you want to be more real with yourself, more open with yourself, more honest with things that you're stubborn with or trying to grow on and in which you lack the trust on. Because I realize it's a trust process. When you come over on your journey with God, you have to know that you're protected. You have to know that God pulled you out of all of that that you endured. And that season for your life is over when you're birthed again, when you're new. You don't have new testimonies, but the same ones you endured before, you already reap understanding on that. So you don't have to go revisit those unless you put yourself through that. And so, yeah, like, write those down. Connect with God and just see where you go from there. My story may be different from your story. You know, whatever. At the end of the day, y'all, I always get tongue tied with my words. It just makes me mad, but it is what it is. I'm gonna let y'all, you feel me, catch that wave, because that's how I am. But at the end of the day, like, just connect with God because your story, it may not be mine, but at the end of the day, God knows you and he's, He can see into you. He has the ability that no one else will have. Like, I'm not gonna say your kingdom spouse may have it, won't have a connection with you, but the one that God got, it's so patient and kind and loving and just like he'll do the smallest things like a song will come on to confirm the mood that he's giving you at that time like just enjoy where you are today that's another thing enjoy where you are today love your way in process and work on you be patient with yourself be kind to yourself be generous reprogram certain things in your mind so you can it can benefit you greater because God wants to give you the world. And sometimes it's up to you. You feel me? He can't give you new and you're you're pouring new wine into old wine skins. You know what I'm saying? Like he can't celebrate you when you're so focused on your past of hurt. He cannot upgrade you when you study thinking about things in the past that failed. He cannot elevate you when you don't trust fully in him and not your own will. Surrender your whole surrender your whole will over to him. Ain't no hiding in between. You do that with people, but you can't do that with God. You cannot play God. You feel me? Like, <laughs> and why would you want to? <laughs> why would you want to? So I love you guys. I thought I could share that with y'all and hope that this was helpful to y'all journey. And maybe make some corrections on the way. Because we going all the way up. But it's up to us. Process. I love you, child of God. And I'm going to be praying right here with you that you make it as well. Amen. In Jesus' name. Be well.